There's a lot happening in our night sky this winter, and who better to take us through it than our space expert, Scott Sutherland. Scott, welcome. Let's begin with the first night. We've got winter solstice, December 21st. That's right, uh, longest night of the year. Uh, and that's really great because we have a meteor shower peaking on that same night. Great timing. Yeah, the Ursids uh, streaming out of the constellation Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper out in the northern sky. So. Not the strongest meteor shower of the year, but uh, it's still pretty decent. Uh, maybe get 10 to 20 meteors per hour uh, throughout the night, which, I mean, you have a long night in order to be out there to see it. Hope for good weather. That's it, yeah. right? As long as skies are clear. It'll be cold too, likely, so make yes. sure you're bundled up. Yes. On January the 3rd, now we're into the new year, 2026. Yeah. We're going right. to kick it off right with a full wolf super moon. That's right. But it's not the only thing happening. That's right. So uh, yeah, that's the morning of the third. We, uh, they have the full moon. The night of the third is the quadrant meteor shower, uh, the best meteor shower of the winter season. But that bright light is going to wash out the sky a little bit and make it not quite as good as previous years, probably. Uh, we can get up to 100 meteors per hour maybe a little bit more from the quadrants on a year by year basis, but maybe we'll see half that. Okay, that's still time, good. Which is still decent. Then yeah. By about one per minute, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, I'll, so, I'll get out for that one. Definitely, One yeah. per minute, okay, I love it. Uh, and not that long later, so about a week or so later, yeah. Jupiter is in opposition. I love saying that. It doesn't sound nearly as uh, negative, actually, it doesn't sound nearly as positive as it is, because right. Jupiter in opposition is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's the closest and brightest of the entire year. It's on the opposite side of the sun from Earth at that, on that night, so it rises right at sunset, and it sets right at sunrise. We have all night to look at it. We have a telescope or binoculars. It will look especially good. Okay, great. I'm looking forward to it yeah. because we often see some really great photos when Me something too. like that is happening. Now, February is pretty quiet all in mm -hmm. all, so mm -hmm. not a lot to talk about in February here. I mean, February is tough anyway, but we do have Valentine's Day, so don't forget that. Yeah. Uh, March <laughs> the 3rd. So let's yeah. jump to March the 3rd because that is an exciting night. Yeah, that's the night of the next total lunar eclipse. Uh, and now it, this will be a bit different depending on where you are in the country. Uh, Halifax and St. John's are going to have a very different view of this than you will out west in BC. Um, it's going to be a partial eclipse in, uh, on the east coast. Uh -huh. uh, it might, you will get in, as, say, Montreal and west, you will probably see the, the total eclipse where the moon turns completely red. Uh, but it will depend where you are and when the moon sets. Is it setting right at the time when it goes total? That will be Montreal. For Toronto, it'll be, you'll have a little bit of time, maybe half an hour or so, and then the moon will set. And as you go out further west, Winnipeg, Regina, and so forth, you get a lot more and more of the eclipse. You get to see it for longer and longer and earlier in your night because of the time differences. So uh, yeah, definitely focused more on the western side of the country than the eastern, but everybody will have a chance to see at least part of it. Okay, and good. I am absolutely 100% sure that we will have it streaming. So uh, even if you're not, if you're only gonna see the, the partial eclipse in your own sky, you can go online and catch the whole thing right through the, the entire eclipse. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Remember, West is best when it comes to right. watching this, this particular one, yeah. <laughs> this particular eclipse. You got it, yeah. Uh, and then again, we've got the spring equinox. That's wow, right. just look at how quickly winter went by. Indeed, so that yeah. happens on March the 20th. Thank you so much for taking us through the night sky. Yep. You know, it actually makes me look forward to winter a little bit, Scott. Yeah. I always look forward to it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You can always read more on Scott Sutherland right on our website, thewethernetwork.com.